Cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping a Chinese and animation movie called The Monkey King Reborn. Spoilers ahead. Relax and enjoy. The movie begins with Sandy and Baiji who are reading a book about the first demon who was born when the heavenly earth was formed. He was the first demon of all time and was given a name called Yuandi. He was seen as the most powerful demon and so it decides to take advantage of his powers by trying to reunite the three realms, which is the earth, heavens and as well as the netherworld. Many powerful and heavenly soldier battled with him but could not defeat him until a disciple of Buddy uses the power of chi to capture Yandi and seal him down beneath the earth where no one will ever see him again. After Sandy and Baiji are done reading, they head to their master who is so unhappy because he is really hungry and Wu Kong who is supposed to bring the food hasn't arrived yet. But later, Wu Kong later arrives with a speed force and delivers the food to his master. Wu Kong has this personality of getting angry easily, and he hardly does anything right. Later on, they all headed to the temple, which was a place where the gods leave. Inside the temple are things that can never be found anywhere around the world. When they arrived, two servants welcomes them and as well took care of them. Baiji later overhear his master discussion about a secret fruit tree, feeling it's something special, reveals the secret to Wu Kong. They both turn themselves into insects and heads towards the secret fruit tree. Servants of the temple normally go there to take fruits from it. And as they watch the servants leave, Wu Kong then tries to steal a fruit from the tree. During his first attempt to plug the fruit, it slips from his hand to the ground. As Baiji is about to get the fruit, it sinks to the ground because of the demonic energy. As Wu Kong tries to retrieve the fruit out of the ground, he brings a small demon out instead of the fruit. The small demon tells them how special the fruit is. That if the fruit is eaten by anyone, 47 years will be added to that person's life. Wu Kong hear this and is desperate needing to steal the fruit by any means possible. Wu Kong is able to retrieve three fruits and hands one each to his friends, Sandy and Baiji. While they are having a taste of it, the servants of the temple catches them in the act. They started to call him names for stealing the fruits, but Wu Kong tries to control his anger. But these servants still didn't leave him alone and captures him. And his master tries to plead for his sake, but they also insulted him too. The insults are getting too much, and as they called him a demon thief, he couldn't control his anger any more and attacks them. Wu Kong then angrily heads to where Tree is and destroys it. And as the servants in the temple tries to stop him, he turns his stick into a huge weapon and strike them. The heavenly warriors became aware of this and goes in search for Wu Kong. The heavenly warriors finally arrives and casted a boundary spell to trap Wu Kong. Wu Kong master Till tries begging the heavenly warrior to grant Wu Kong mercy, but Wu Kong doesn't seem to be sorry. The heavenly warrior then angrily attacks him. Wu Kong is fearless at this rate and strategically tries to strike the immortal at his feet. But he dodges it, and the both of them goes on a one-on-one -on -one combat. Wu Kong friends also joins the fight to assist. While his fight is ongoing, due to the scared tree is destroyed by Wu Kong, it unleashes the demon ancestor known as Yuandi, who captures Wu Kong master. After a long fight, the immortal defeated Wu Kong and his friends and captures them, and immediately instructs his servants to quickly head to palace, informing everyone about Yuandi release. The mortal angrily tells Wu Kong about the mess he has made. By destroying the scared tree that was holding off Yuandi, the most powerful demon, he tells Wu Kong that Yuandi will soon absolve his master's power and turn into his true form, making him unstoppable. But Wu Kong still doesn't see it as a big deal and says he can capture Yuandi. The immortal releases him, but if he doesn't stop Yuandi, he will capture him and never free him again. All the demons sees Yuandi and pays their allegiance to him, accepting him as their demon king. On the other hand. Wu Kong and his friends are on their way to rescue their master. On the way, they noticed a vital spirit following them, who wants to assist in defeating the demon king. After Wu Kong hears he was the one that helped seal Yuandi before, he sees it useful and decided to take it along with them. While the crew are at the market, the soldiers of Yuandi appears with the aim of finishing off the vital spirit, so it won't be used to put down Yuandi. But Wu Kong fights them off, preventing them from capturing the vital spirit. Wu Kong single-handedly defeated all the soldiers and chased them away. The vital spirit sees the entire village destroyed and some innocent villager were already possessed by Yuandi. It feels so depressed about it and uses its magic to restore everyone back to normal. Meanwhile, the soldier captain returns, telling the demon king about his defeats to Wu Kong. Angrily, the demon king feeds on him and sends a black smoke to go after Wu Kong. While Wu Kong and his friends are still looking for their master. The smoke from Yuandi possesses a giant monster and started to attack Wu Kong. But after a long fight, Wu Kong is able to defeat it monster, making the black smoke to live its body. 
the monster is back to normal and informs them that he knows the whereabouts of Yuandi. They didn't trust him at first, but having no choice then to follows him. On their way, the monster sadly tells them about the vital spirit. That if it keeps using its powers, it's going to die and will never be able to reincarnate. They all finally reached their destination and the monster shows them the location they can find their master, thereafter he departed from the rest of them. Wokong waits until the vital spirit falls asleep and decides to trap it just to prevent it from getting hurt. When Wokong and his friends arrives, Yuandi's soldier are already prepared for battle. Therefore, an epic battle begins with Yandi's soldier versus Wokong and his friends. Baiji is surrounded, thinking he stands no chance against many of them, Baiji then transforms to a giant, smashing all of them to pieces. While Sandy who is the fearful one among them, is fighting the demons with bravery this time around. A fire monster then arrives and is about to harm Sandy, but Wokong shows up and killed it. Wokong uses his hair to form as many tiny monkeys possible, to finish off the enemies quickly. Suddenly Yuandi appears, and tells Wokong to hand over the vital spirit but instead, Wokong attacks him. On the first round of the fight, Wokong and his friends were able to defeat Yuandi. But as he decides not to take it easy on them, he beats them all and defeated them. Yuandi goes to get the vital spirit but Wokong did everything he can to prevent him from doing so. The vital spirit weeps really bad, seeing its dear Wokong, who is getting the beating of his life. As Yuandi is about to harm the vital spirit, Wokong uses his body to shield it, making him unconscious. Suddenly Yuandi immediately kills Wokong master and feeds on his soul, making him much more stronger. He finishes Wokong off and as he is about to kill him. The vital spirit then intervenes. She uses her magic to trap Yuandi. But Yuandi still breaks out of the trap, and finally defeat the vital spirit. The vital spirit then enter Wokong body and transforms him into a warrior in flames, the Monkey King. This time Yuandi is no match for Wokong and after a long fight, Wokong defeated him, and finally brought peace back to the world. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel, and keep watching. Bye.